Hi there, my name is Alon Bayless. I am a co-owner of a company called Simi Dive. We're based in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We've been in business for the last 15 years and our company specializes in marine construction, commercial diving, and we are at the cutting edge of technology when it comes to seawall products and installing defensive mechanisms in seawalls. Jet Filter is a, the best example of a product that we've been using for over seven years. It is a bulletproof product. Us as contractors, we love it. It's simple, it's effective, and it's easily maintained. Properties like this one that we are in here today has a seawall with old weepole system that is failed, and that's why we're installing the jet filters, which are far advanced to a piece of PVC pipe with uh, some cloth behind it, which is what the seawall has. We will show today exactly how the procedures are, our core drills, we have different types, and we're gonna give you all the benefits of why to install jet filters. Primarily because water pushes on structures. And when you have a unit installed in the wall that is designed to allow the water to pass from the upper areas into the waterway, and at the same time protecting the property from water that is rising, such as king tides that we have here in South Florida that are incredibly high and uh, pull uh, incredible amount of waters into the land side, the jet filter comes in as the savior product in the fact that it, it allows the water to discharge without losing any soil compaction. And this is going to be shown uh, throughout this project, we're going to be installing 38 units on the seawall. It's 310 linear feet long, and it is uh, uh, on the intercoastal, which is probably the most active area. Uh, there's actually boats coming up here on 25, 30 knot speed. So it, it's kind of a, a very challenging place to do the work, but we're, we're capable. We've done it, and we just uh, will show you exactly how it's done. My experience through my life as a marine uh, contractor and as a commercial diver is that water is your friend and water is your enemy. What jet filter system comes to do is to basically remove the one thing that destroys structures near water, which is the pressure of the water coming from the land side. Actually, most seawall collapse happen in during rainy season and during low tides when there's a lot of pressure on the structure and then the structure cannot take the pressure and it just caves in. The tiebacks release, uh, panels just get undermined, a lot of damage happens and this is an expensive repair or replace. Uh, cost of seawall, average cost of seawall in our region is a thousand dollars a linear foot. So you have to think that property like this that has over 600 linear feet of seawall will cost to rebuild about six hundred thousand dollars. So for um, not even ten percent of that you can install a system in the seawall that will protect it from that one thing that causes it to fail, which is the water pressure. We've used the jet filter in numerous places. I know that Florida Water Management has used it. I know that uh, Army Corps of Engineers has used it. So uh, we're great believers in not trying to fight the water, but allowing the water to actually do what it wants to do, and that's to travel back to itself. We also recommend to look at the gutters in the house, to look at how the water behaves on the entire property. And when you do that, you can actually figure out what is the best product for you when it comes to the jet filter system. But it's all about equalizing the pressure between the land and the waterway or the, or the body of water. Uh, we, again, seven years of working with this product. It, it, it has only been a gift for us. We have done many, many jobs with this and our clients love it, including the city here that we are now doing the job in the city of Fort Lauderdale because they're using it again. Uh, in one of their new seawall projects. So this product could be used on new and on older seawalls. We have a lot of coral rock walls in here in this area and we use uh, many, many projects where we do coral rocks. The jet filters are almost like, the, it's automatically gets installed in our, in our seawalls because we know we're protecting our work and we're protecting our clients' as property and they are, you know, it's a win-win basically. Okay, wall surface prep, what are we talking about? Different, different seawalls will require a different prep for the jet filter system. This specific wall, we did a, a jet cleaning of the entire wall with a 5,000 PSI pressure washer, which has an incredible blast on it, so the panels are clean. Sometimes if there's spalling, if there's areas that the panels broke a little bit, we will take a good hydraulic concrete, ferret, flatten it, and then core drill and mount the filter. Coral rock walls will require also hydraulic concrete. Uh, vinyl, aluminum, and straight walls that have no fouling and are new, obviously no prep is required. Uh, 
prep is important because you want to make sure the flange on the filter sits evenly on the surface and it's not going to allow water to leak from the outsides of the filter mount flange. So now we're going to uh, talk about why we chose the four inch system for this specific type of seawall. This is a concrete panel tunnel tongue groove wall. It is made out of concrete panels with uh, T-piles and it has an enlarged uh, cap with batter piles. This seawall is on the intercoastal. It's, it, it is experiencing heavy boat traffic here. There's a lot of wake and a lot of impact on the seawall which keeps the soil here very loose because the wall gets studded continuously with, with uh, the wake hitting the wall. This unit that we're going to install here has got the one-way valve in it that allows the water to only discharge from the land side to the water but at the same time it has a stainless steel louvered vent that protects the bladder of the seal of the one-way valve from getting compressed by the hits of the waves. So that's why we chose this specific unit to this seawall. Of course there's other seawalls that will require other units and also in some cases you need to prep the area that you work uh, in this seawall, we just had to jet clean the wall and that's it. It's flat surface, so the flange uh, attaches itself well. Okay, so there, there, there we are now. The person who's pour drilling has to mark the area that obviously you have to mark where you're going to put the holes. We try and use a spacer board that gives us the exact same height on the wall. Of course, that might fluctuate because the growth line changes in some areas. So don't be really strict about the height of having it equal but more of where the growth line is because that's what determines you don't want the growth line to go into the filter cartridge so it's got to be right above the growth line. here we are core drilling into the wall you can see uh, Chris and Jose uh, Jose is using the electrical drill he's core drilling and in the process he's holding his uh, hands perpendicular to the wall he's got trying to keep a 90 once he penetrates through the wall he takes the core he taps it he removes the core out of the wall checks the surface, cleans the inside interior of the core area, and then takes the filter cartridge, places it in the wall. Then uh, one of our staff is taking the core drill and is marking the four pilot holes where the anchors is going to be, where the unit is going to be anchored to the seawall. Once he makes the mark, he removes the actual uh, unit off the wall, and then he core drills all the way deep, about two inches, two and a half inches, so the, the anchor would be able to be placed all the way in. Once the anchor holes have been drilled, he will take the unit, he will put it in the wall, and then he will take either the tap cones, or in our case, the mushroom anchors, and drive them into the holes. We do, we do it in a diagonal pattern, it's stronger, and it also makes sure that the flange will equally compress against the seawall panel. Now we will either use an impact to drive the tap con into the hole, or we will use the tapping uh, uh, chisel that helps us drive the mushroom anchors in. We use mushroom anchors because they are uh, a very strong anchor and especially in places like this where there is a lot of impact, a lot of water hitting the filter and also it's a 316 stainless so there's no dissimilarity in the metal. We prefer it, therefore we use it. Not everybody has to use it. The tap cons are just as good uh, and that's obviously the contractor's choice. Okay, so once the work is completed, there's a few things we should uh, make note of. Is, and, and you know, when you do, and when you put a new weep hole system into the wall, there's going to be a period of time about the first year where some of the ground is going to is going to compact because now the wall has a way to filter out the upland water. So take into take into note that in some cases you're going to need to add some backfill. In some cases, there's going to be some divoting of the ground, but that's very natural because. The wall now is releasing its pressure through the point that you've chosen and it is the optimal point for the hydrostatic release. So it's not unusual. In many cases it doesn't happen, especially in places where there's a lot of vegetations and bushes just like we have on this property. There's a lot of bushes and hedges along the seawall. That is an excellent way to make sure the soil compaction stays solid near the seawall and we recommend that highly to our clients. Now the jet filter system also can be optimized if you install a French drain along the seawall. Of course that process will require removing some of the landscaping and also digging uh, you know, a trench that would allow the gravel and all the other things that you used in a, in a French drain system. Okay, maintenance of the jet filter system. A very simple procedure. Uh, if you have the two and a half inch use of composite unit, all it takes is grabbing those two pinch points, pulling them out, 
use a light brush, brush the outside, the inside, back in in a second. It take you about a minute if you're uh, well trained in it. Now, when it comes to the units that have four stainless steel screws, those are not the bolts that you mounted into the wall. Those are the inner screws on the inner flange of the filter. Those ones need to be taken out. You pull the cartridge out. You can wash it with a hose. You can use a light brush to brush the marafi and obviously remove any kind of debris from the uh, louvered vent or whatever you have in the front of the filter. So you'll optimize the discharge of the filter. You could do probably 10 filters in an hour if you're well trained. And of course, this is something that you would charge your client as a separate item because you're doing maintenance. We recommend to inspect it after the first year just to see how the filter is doing, if there's any. And then the cleaning usually up to now, we've seen two years is a good time to, uh, to uh, clean the four inch units. Again, we've uh, done the core drilling, we've done restoration on the seawall, we've done all the T-pile, sealed it, and we also sealed the old weep holes that were misfunctioning. And we installed 38 of the stainless steel four inch units in the seawall by Jet Filters. Uh, installation was easy and the work came out beautiful. And we are going to show you, we're gonna take the boat for a ride and show you a full scope of uh, the length of the seawall. Thank you very much for watching. It is a pleasure to work with this product and uh, if there's anything anybody would like to reach us, of course, you're welcome to do so. Thank you and have a wonderful day.